Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, that's me, coming at you with 2020 Panini Mosaic Football, six box, half case, pick your team, number seven, which filled after eight. Eight, eight happened last night, seven is happening today, so that will be the second half of the case. Some pretty good stuff in here, ladies and gentlemen, all cards ship, a lot of great, couple autographs, a box, so let's get to it. There it is, remember Sean marked these, pick your team, seven right there. So here we go. Thanks everyone for getting in on a Saturday. If you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in one of our filler breaks. There's everybody right here. Let's do this. Here we go. There will be, uh, if you're watching the replay of this, uh, there will be a recap, an autograph recap at the end. Max, what's up, Max? Yeah, we got. He has the Jaguars looking for some Minshew stained glass. That'd be cool. Those stained glasses are really nice. By the end of all the NFL action, all the week one action, which rookie do you think will uh, will will have the best performance at the end of the day, at the end of the week? Or is nobody beating Clyde Edwards-Hilaire's performance on Thursday night? Someone's got it. another rookie might have to step up. Maybe not like fantasy points wise, but just in general, like who's gonna have? Joe Burrow, maybe? Joe Burrow wins his debut? I mean, that could be a big story. And there's Sony Michelle. Remember, all card ships, so everything you see here is going to happen. Um, I will set aside, like, rookie parallels. Obviously, all the rookies are going to ship. But I'll, I'll take out the rookie parallels. Numbered cards I'll set aside as well. 18 out of 25. Phil Lindsay for my rivals, the Broncos, EA. Max thinks maybe Antonio Gibson Redskins could give Clyde Edwards Hilaire's performance a run for his money. Adam likes Cam Akers. Cam Akers could have a decent game. You see some gold in that stack right here? Might be. There's Ricky Waters, Seahawks edition. That'll be for Ryan L. About T. Higgins. T. Higgins and Burrow get together, make some magic. T. Higgins will be for the Bengals, Cody. Ooh, look at this. Joe, speaking of Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow Silver. Hi ho, Silver, away! That goes to Cody. Who bought the Bengals straight up? Nice. Gets the silver Joey B. Nice. There's Jerry Judy at 99 for EA. And my rivals. He got rivalry mojo. I think he got my Raiders too. Yeah, EA's got Broncos and Raiders here in uh, Pick Your Team 7. Leonard Fournette. What about J.K. Dobbins? Another Joe Burrow base this time. It's Joe Burrow Silver sold for 700 last night. Wow. 
but I'll cover the spot. I'm looking at the uh, ESPN's bold predictions for each game. They've got a bold prediction for J.K. Dobbin, scoring two touchdowns in his debut. Max hopes that happens. He's got a... Uh, no, Pat hopes so. He's got five redemptions of J.K. Dobbins pending right now. we got Jeff Okuda and a silver Mahomes. So there's Jeff Okuda for the Lions. Jeremy Elkins with that. I think him and... Damon Arnett's fate may be tied together for their, their careers. I think a lot of Raiders fans thought maybe the Raiders should have taken Okuda. Although, how high did Okuda go? Anyway, Patrick Mahomes, silver for Ameris. I'm sure that has some value. There's C.J. Henderson, rookie C.J. Henderson for the Jags. That'll be for Max. And that was the first box. Nice start. Second box. Did you know Browns running back Nick Chubb recorded 1,494 rushing yards last season, second most in the NFL behind Derrick Henry's 1,540 rushing yards. Interesting. Kareem Hunt may, may gobble up some carries. Hey, see you, Kevin. Seahawks at Falcons. ESPN's bold prediction is Seahawks defensive back Marquise Blair will make a game-changing play. He had the best game of his rookie season against the Falcons in Atlanta with a team-high 11 tackles and a key force fumble. Blair was one of the Seattle standouts training camp as he transitioned from safety to nickel. And you should see action in that role Sunday against the Falcons' three receiver-heavy offense for what it's worth. It's according to Brady Henderson of ESPN. Stat to note. Seattle quarterback Russell Wilson leads the NFL with 100 passing touchdowns over the past three seasons, but Atlanta's Matt Ryan is 3-2 and two in his career versus Wilson, including playoffs, and has won the previous two matchups. Fal Falcons a sneaky pick? At plus 2.5? <laughs> that I did not know. Adam Coverman saying, did you know? Jameis Winston in, or in New Orleans has completed more passes to Saints players in his career than Taysom Hill. How is that going to work down there? Do you think Jameis Winston actually gets some run? There's Willie Galt. Bears, Brad, with the Bears. There's Russell Wilson right there. Jordan Love, rookie, Tua, blue chips, Minshew, swagger. Here's a nice little insert for you, Max. No? James probably doesn't. No, okay. Pat says no, learns and leaves next season. Adam says, uh, nah, yeah, James doesn't, doesn't play unless something happens to Breeze. There's Tua. Dolphins, Matthew. Matthew C. got the Dolphins straight up. Here's Jordan Love for the Packers for Matthew S. Bill Mosher saying Cam Newton did what Jameis did. Gone, gone for less money. For a starting job instead of being a bad... Oh, you're saying that's, he, that's what he should have done. I don't know, but I, I kind of... I, I was kind of impressed with that sort of self-awareness and maturity from Jameis Winston to say, like, hey, maybe it's better for me to learn from Drew Brees. 
you know? Drew Brees isn't going to be around forever. If Jameis Winston kind of learns that system for the next year or two, you know, maybe maybe there's a possibility where the Saints organization is like, hey, Jameis, you, do you want the starting job? Silver Brady MVPs. That's Patriots edition for Jeremy Tillman. There's the NFL debut Justin Herbert. Will there be a base Justin Herbert? We've kind of seen that pattern. No, not yet. And there's a mosaic Henry Ruggs. Rhea got the Chargers in the uh, team random at filler break. Mahomes MVPs, red for the Chiefs. Absolutely saying, but yeah, true. Oh, there's the base, Herbert. There's that pattern, debut, base. But absolutely saying, yeah, I can see that, but depends on whether the Saints end up drafting another QB. Bill is saying, I'm a huge Patriots fan, fan, but the breakout team is going to be the Dolphins. He's saying. And hey, there you go, Max. LaVisca Chenault Jr. autograph. There you go. Let's go, he says. People people in the summer, over the summer, seem to really like what he could potentially provide for the Jaguars. We got Amari Cooper, Justin Jefferson, Red for the Vikings. Christian Anderson. Vikings got a deal done. You guys see that? Dalvin Cook. I, I thought all summer he was they were like, ah, he's he's gonna walk. He's not gonna play. They're gonna tag him. Franchise tag him. Ooh. And a nice silver Clyde Edwards Hilaire for the Chiefs. Amaris. Nice. But yeah, but they got the deal done with uh, with Dalvin Cook, so I guess I guess maybe not dust off your Alexander Madisons just yet. There's Miles Garrett for the Browns, 99, for uh, for Chris Murphy. Absolutely saying, if I were the Saints, I'd probably just draft a QB just based on Winston's previous show, previous showing on the Bucks. But his eyes, absolute. You hear about that? Remember that? <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Kamara did get a deal done, too. I feel like that seemed likely, though. The Kamara deal? Or was it, was it not? Was it touch and go for a little bit, I guess? I guess there was some Kamara could be traded rumors. But I felt like that deal would, would, would get done. Dalvin Cook, I wasn't too sure about. But yeah, Jameis Winston got his eyes checked out. Maybe that was the reason for 30 interceptions. Maybe if his defense, maybe if the Buccaneers defense kind of made some stops, he wouldn't have to go out there slinging it. And that's got to be a few interceptions there. Eyes, that's a few interceptions right there, right? All right, what else, what else does ESPN have for us here? Yeah, Kamara works hard. I think, I think he definitely deserves it, too. Bold prediction in the Packers-Vikings game from ESPN, from Rob Dem Demofsky. The Vikings will sack Rodgers five times. Minnesota won't have Daniil Hunter, but the Packers will realize they don't have a viable option at right tackle after letting Brian Beluga leave in free agency. Rodgers has never sacked more than five times in any game last season. I wonder if there's a there's a prop on that, if you're into that sort of thing. Stat to note: Rodgers posted a 50.4 QBR last season, his worst since becoming a starter in 2008. 
But for the second straight season, he threw for 4,000 yards and fewer than five interceptions. He's the only QB in NFL history to do it even once. Wow, five, five, less than five interceptions? Hudson fan, what's up? Good evening. Good evening to you. Just stopping and say thanks for the Instagram contest. I won one of the prizes. You sent your info, but it mentioned it can be sh it can be shipped with the mosaic. Oh, um, yeah. Since, as long as you send your info, let us know. If you want to get double coverage on that, you can go to jaspiescasebreaks.com, hit the support button on the bottom left, and give us your information there too. Congrats. That, that was a lot of fun, that Instagram contest. Oh, that's that's their bold prediction, according to ESPN, Pat, that he's going to get sacked five times. Which makes me think, what's the, uh, is there a proposition there? <laughs> oh, points. And what are those odds? Do we take those odds? These points right here will um, collect as one lot. One person, the, it'll, get, it'll get randomized to one person in the break. Hopefully it'll just be that. But if there's any more, it'll be collected together. Here's Levy, speaking of Le'Veon Bell, Indiana was wondering, hey, any any Le'Veon Bell hot takes? That's for the Jets. That'll go to Jets fan Adam Kupperman. Adam, any any thoughts if you're still listening? My 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 sort of, I, and I haven't looked too much into this. My gut feeling is that is that all this stuff about Le'Veon Bell looking slow or not looking this or that, I feel like that's just kind of overblown a little bit. Much ado about nothing. Matt, what's going on? There's NFL debut, insert Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, Chiefs, Ameris. Adam says, I think Bell will have a good season, should catch more passes this year, supposedly in better shape. So that's what I thought too. I was just like, I don't know, did he suddenly suddenly become garbage, you know? I don't think so. I feel like he's more, he can be more than effective with like a healthy Sam Darnold. It's Joe Burrow base for Cincinnati, for, uh, and I'm sorry, not base, NFL debut insert for Cincinnati, Cody with that one. A nice base, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, another one for Ameris. All those add up. And a silver, Michael Pittman Jr. He could be interesting as well, Jeremy Merle. Colts. Yeah, Adam's wondering, well, what, are, what if they, what if they, what if the Jets put a, put him out wide? Le'Veon Bell, could be interesting. All right, no worries, Hudson. Thanks for uh, participating and congrats again. Baker Mayfield Silver and more LaVisca Chenault Jr. for Max to 99. He's loving that autograph. Now you got a parallel too. And look at that. A CJ Henderson, Max, for the Jaguars. You got the Chenault. You got a blue parallel. And you got another autograph. I get you a stained glass of Minshew, man, that'd be it. I'd, I'd say you just stop breaking after that. You'd just be like, forget it. I can't do anybody. <laughs> the NFL debut, Jordan Love, red for the Packers, Matthew. And we got a silver NFL debut, Justin Herbert. When does he make his debut? Sean Jaspi, Kool-Aid drinking Chargers fan here. My colleague here at Jaspies is convinced that Tarod Taylor is going to be a starter for like three quarters of the season. And then after that, he believes Easton Stick should get run before Justin Herbert even takes any action. Which I think sometimes I, I, I question his football knowledge at that point. Hey, there it is, Max. The Minshew stained glass. I 
think these go for like a hundred bucks, don't they? <laughs> People love the stained glass. Well, there you go. I mean, that's it, Max. Just don't, don't, don't. It's not going to get any better than this. It's all downhill from here. Here's Tua, NFL debut. And we still have three boxes to go. Because I make that magic happen, Matt. Matt. Matt's like, how could you stay so calm? Because the wizardry happens here so often at Jaspies. And I'm just like, yeah, all in a day's work. Just pulling what people want some of the time. <laughs> Not all the time. Some of the time. More Tua, Miami. Hey, you know what, Matt? St. Martin, you can't get too high, you can't get too low in these group breaks. You know, can't get too high or too low. Because there are going to be lows. All right. Next box. Yeah, a lot of twos being pulled. It's probably a good candidate for some of those twos to be graded. That's where the importance of grading comes in. No, we don't have any more Mosaic Hobby. This was it. This is our last batch. We're going to try to get more for next week on jazbeescasebreaks.com, but I don't know if they're going to be at this friendly price here. There was a silver Baker Mayfield back there, Chris, that's going to ship to you. So if he turns out to, you know, bounce back. What's up, Josh? No, no financial investment in baseball, I think, the rest of the month. I'm just going to wait for the playoffs. I was doing terribly. And then I just thought, you know, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'm going to put I'm going to put put that investment into into the NFL, see how I do there, because I don't know what people's motivations are going to be, baseball wise. Do I have, do I have more ESPN bold predictions for you? What about Jets at Bills? Uh oh, bold prediction. Earmuffs, Adam Copperman. The Jets will only score one touchdown, according to Rich Samini. The Jets will only score one touchdown, and it won't happen until late in the game. In the past six games against Sean McDermott coach defenses, oh, you read it already, Adam Gase's offenses haven't scored more than 21 points, and the average per game is just 16 and a half. The Jets offer so many new players, it's hard to imagine an efficient performance. Hmm. Oh, he's the Jets reporter, but he hates the team? Trying to go oppo. No, no picks for tomorrow yet. I've been trying to, I've been, that's why I'm kind of doing this research while I'm breaking with you guys. So I'm just kind of like half researching, kind of absorbing some information, see what the chat thinks. There's Jonathan Taylor for the blue horseshoes. That's going to be for Jeremy and the Colts. And there's a blue Tua, 36 out of 99. A blue Tua for Matthew and the Dolphins. Right, yeah, that one touchdown prediction doesn't bode well for Le'Veon Bell. But it'll be the offensive line. But, stat to know, and this is why I'm kind of high on the Jets this season, NFL debut as a sneaky buy low candidate. Not like a, they're definitely not favorites, but sad to know, Jets QB, Sam Darnold went six and two over the final eight games of the last of last season. 13 touchdowns, only four interceptions. That's not bad. Take Sam Darnold's name out of it, and if I said, hey, a QB, a QB, QBX went six and two over his final eight games of the season and had 13 TDs and four interceptions, what would you think? You'd be like, I'd take that, you know, and I'd be like, how was Sam Darnold? All right, a couple more Herberts for uh, the Chargers. Rhea won that. It's Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, NFL debut red this time. BD saying, I know, I, I, gotta, I gotta crank up the volume. My TV's not working here. Direct TV's coming on Monday. Poor Jason tomorrow. You might have to use mobile devices to watch the games here. Nice red Hilaire. Rockets red Hilaire. 
Amaris with another one. I do have a little prop. I, I'm on a, I have a prop. Where is it? I think Rajon Rondo, eight or more assists, plus Lakers win at plus 144. Bob Lilly, cowboy is great, going to Charles. I think I, I, I maybe put dinner money, not lunch money, dinner money on that proposition. <laughs> At plus 144. Maybe get a couple dinner, more dinners after that. Keyshawn Von Mosaic. Yeah, I don't know what the, Rockets, the, the Houston Rockets are going to do with that team. They'll probably, yeah, they'll probably just blow it up, right? They're, they're going to – they'll move. They'll fire the coach. Ooh, and a Jalen Ragor. Goal, 7 out of 10. For the Fly Eagles Fly, that's going to go to Adam Kupperman, who won the Eagles in that team random. You don't think they're going to blow up the Rockets? Well, they'll move the coach, though, right, Pat? Are they going to roll with D'Antonio again, too? Kind of hasn't worked over the last. And a silver Mahomes and a base Mahomes for the Chiefs. Sam, Silver Sam Darnold. Look at this. Look at this, Adam Kupperman, just for you. Just because I'm rooting for Sam Darnold. Top load that right away. Hopefully we'll be happy we did that <laughs> tomorrow. We'll watch the game tomorrow. Gotta protect that Darnold ASAP. Let's not wait, let's not wait for it to get to the shipping department. I'm gonna do it right now. <laughs> LaVisca Chenault, red. Dar Darnold, MVP confirmed. Here's another one for you, Max. And DeAndre Swift, nice autograph here. Jeremy Elkins with the Detroit Lions, some cat team mojo. What can this guy do? You're welcome, Max. What can this guy do? All right, two boxes to go, boys and girls. Uh, BD's hot take, Lions make the playoffs. You know, I feel like Adam liked that idea too, or maybe to win the division as a sneaky long shot pick. My NFC North sneaky long shot pick is Chicago, plus 400. But Lions at plus 475 isn't, isn't too bad either. I just, I, I, I guess I'm just not a fan of Matt Patricia. That's where my anti-Lions bias comes in. Otherwise, I have no problem with Lions. But, but Matt Patricia, I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of. He's got a pencil in his ear. <laughs> but he has laminated play cards. Come on. And, and then I saw him in like some NFL 100 countdown interview or something like that where he's being interviewed. He still has the pencil in his ear. And he was doing like a sit down in studio interview or something like that. It's like, come on, Matt. I like Matt Safford because he was childhood friends with Clayton Kershaw. Right, what's the point of the pencil, Absolute, I agree. Why is it there? Does he wear it at home? Is he married? Does he think his wife is just like, come on, Matt, the pencil in the ear at dinner, at the dinner table, get that out of your ear. Does he have kids? Are they embarrassed? They're like, Dad, get the pencil out of there. It's ridiculous. Everyone at school. A 
And does he go to sleep with it? Does he shower with that pencil? Come on. And there's Willie Rofe for the Chiefs, Amaris. I don't know. I just can't trust that guy with that pencil in his ear. Justin Jefferson. <laughs> do, I, do I do I trust Nagy for the for the Bears? I guess I don't really trust him either. He traded up for Trubisky. That goes to the Vikings, Chris Danielson. Got Kyler Murray red. But I was forcing myself to take long shots for divisions just to see. There's Justin Herbert in that mosaic prism parallel. That'll be for the Chargers. Nice one, Rhea. Not bad for, for winning that team. I think he has a sharpener in the back of his head like a box of Crayola, Hudson saying. <laughs> He's more machine than man now. There's Brady. Buccaneers, Amaris. Nick Bosa, Silver, Deshaun Jackson. NFL, oops, sorry. NFL debut, Justin Hurt, tossing him around. Apologize. Rhea, I do have the, the padding here to protect myself when I have a case of the dropsies. Like Raiders, Amari Cooper. And he goes to the Cowboys just fine. On the Raiders, dropsies. I have heard, I don't know if this is true or not, I have heard some rumblings that that Derek Hart does not throw a catchable ball. <laughs> so for some receivers it may be difficult. Like he throws it too hard, I think. <laughs> Something like that. Be, be a big year for him. Jeff Gladney, Minnesota. That's going to go to Chris Danielson. Oh, J Jason Jaspi likes the likes the Oregon Ducks too. He was really excited about it. a lot of his. He's an Eagles guy, but a lot of his family are a big Raiders fans. So he was kind of happy about maybe getting that Mariota in silver and black. Ooh, that would have been fire. There he is, right there. See, how, how good does he look right here? And that silver and black. But I think he's starting the season on the uh, on the injured list, I think. There's Peyton Silver. Miles Garrett, blue to 99. More Clyde Edwards Hilaire, NFL debut. Yeah, it will depend on what happens with Carr. I think this is like a... I like Derek Carr just fine, but I'm not, you know, not married to the guy, you know, as, as the starting quarterback. But this is going to be... But I think he does deserve, like, the next season or two to really show what, what he can do. This is it, you know. He's, he's got some young weapons on that team. He's got this guy, right? So I think this, this is the year where he has to kind of take another active step forward. Otherwise, I don't think he's getting a, I don't think he'll get another contract with the Raiders. NFL debut Joe Burrow, Bengals, Cody. And another CEH going to Ameris and the Chiefs. Yeah, I think I think it's no oh nice silver Justin Herbert. Yeah, it's no secret that I think uh, John Gruden really likes Mariota, but but Mariota got beat out by Ryan. T exactly, exactly. Gary Gordon Carr's better than Marks Mariota. Yeah, it is that simple. I think people really like the upside of the potential of what Mariota can do, but 
he couldn't stay in Tennessee. He got beat out by Ryan Tannehill. You know, Ryan Tannehill was abandoned by the Dolphins. So there's Justin Herbert, Silver, Chargers, Rhea, last box, pick your team seven. So when, when Mariota was signed, everyone was in the chat and they're like, Joe, so Mariota, your new quarterback now? Well, I was like, no, he's not that good. I like him. I'm sure he's a nice guy, but... They paid Derek Carr a lot of money. <laughs> but I think Mario is trying to do the whole, hey, you know, let's be a, be a backup for a season or two. Maybe hitch on with that team or maybe move on. Get a starting job elsewhere. Maybe learn and marinate a little bit. But rough times for that draft class. And it was that was the it was Winston and, and, and Mariota the same year, right? Were they one and two? Final box, final two autographs. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for hanging and chatting NFL with us and breaking NFL with us on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Stick with us all season long. We love talking football, fantasy, some financial investments in football as well. We enjoy that kind of chatter as well. There's Clyde Edwards Hilaire. So stick with us all season long and break with us all season long. Another Clyde Edwards Hilaire red. There's a base Joe Burrow. Mosaic J.K. Dobbins. Dobbins will go to the Purple Birds, Josh Pruce. Sure, there's some other rookie Dobbins in there that, that'll be going off to you as well. Got a silver Cortland Sutton. And we got a Chad Johnson autograph. Look at that. Cody with the Cincinnati Bengals gets the Chad Johnson auto. Nice. I like Chad Johnson. I thought for a second Chad Johnson would end up being uh, playing a pl playing an MLS season. He's got a he's got a good a football life episode on the NFL Network too. Can't forget about this guy. So a couple more for the Chiefs for Ameris. All of those add up, man. Very nice. Maybe maybe get get him graded. It's my suggestion. Let's hope. Henry Ruggs makes a nice introduction tomorrow for my Raiders. Got to wake up early for that. Actually, just leave him there for now. Yeah, because I forget to find the spot. Although, I'll tell you what. Football, watching football on the East Coast feels a little weird. What, do, what does everyone do in the morning? I can wake up and just from my room, turn on the TV and just... Watch the 10 a.m. games. Then I get up and stretch and shower and then get lunch for the 1 o'clock games. Then I got the primetime game at 5. And then, uh, and then I still have, still have time to do stuff Sunday night. There's 
There's Joe Burrow NFL debut red Bengals. Ooh, Central Time is some good sports watching. That's like a, that's like a good happy medium right there. Right? Adam's like, I do kind of like when I've been on the West Coast and the game started at 10. See? And in a normal, like, non-pandemic year, I feel like the primetime games on the East Coast, if they go late, you're staying up late. You got work the next day. Can't, ain't no one got time for that. I right, right, right. Both coast, Joe, and the West Coast is better. Yeah. Boss man in the background. I don't know if you guys heard him. He said he's watched sports for years on both coasts. West Coast better. Right. Yeah. Adam Coverman's like, late game. Doesn't end at almost midnight. Yeah, West Coast is pretty good. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, listen, again, thank you very much. There's Simeon Rice and Jordan Love Silver. Joe Namath Blue. Saquon Barkley, stained glass. I guess this box won't let me do my outro right here. Saquon Barkley, stained glass. Matthew Shira, nice. Well, stained glasses are pretty popular. Joe Namath Blue for Adam and his Jets to 99. Jordan Love Silver, Matthew Shearer and the Packers. And the last autograph is Simeon Rice for the Buccaneers. That's for Ameris. Let's randomize those points too and we'll do a quick recap. But yeah, hey, thanks everyone for joining the break. Be sure to hang with us all season long. Talk football and break football with us. All season long on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Let's set up the randomizer. So let's flip back over here. Um, so Carlos down to Jorge. And pick your team seven. Let's copy your names, put you in your new list. Uh, name on top will get the points after nine times. Five and a four. One. One. Two. Two. There we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. It's going to be Matthew. After nine, Matthew C., you will get the 400 points right there. Thank you. Let's do a quick recap. Hey, you're welcome, Max. Thanks for joining the break. What about Hawaii, boss man? Have you watched uh, football from Hawaii? Is that weird? They got to get you. Got to get up at like at six, right? Yeah. That's got to be weird. It's too early. Here's the recap, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty nice break. A lot of nice silvers. Some gold Jalen Ragor. Some nice autographs. Clyde Edward Hilaire's. Herbert's. Tua's. Stained glass Minshew's. Got some Joe Burrows in the mix here, too. That silver Clyde Edwards Hilaire. LaVisca Chenault Jr. autograph. Mahomes silver. So all sorts of good stuff. And there you have it. Uh, we don't have any more hobby, but we do have lots of Mosaic uh, Football Choice Edition if you want to check that out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.